This is a story about a youth named Billy. Hello, Billy. As you can see, Billy's a swell young man who has dreams of becoming a primary care physician. Don't you, Billy? Well, that's just super. The ill and infirm of this world certainly need someone like you to help them. So we'd better get started. What's first? Not sure where to begin, huh? Well, let us lend you a hand and show you the most important steps to becoming a primary care physician. Right now you're a senior in high school. You've worked hard, but you've still had time for sock hops and spending time with your friends. You have excelled in your studies, haven't you? And done well in your SATs? Otherwise, your path to becoming a primary care physician might take a permanent detour to beauty college. <laughs> Just kidding, Billy. And I'm sure you have great extracurricular activities as well. Captain of the football team? Captain of the basketball team? Captain of the soccer team? <sighs> okay, I hate to ask, but president of the Dungeons and Dragons Club? All right, all right, no worries. At least you have good grades. Hold on to your hat, Billy. We're off to college. Ah, can you smell it, Billy? Higher education. The campus is alive with new ideas and professors holding class outside on the lawn. Oh, and that chap is wearing a bow tie. How intellectual. This is so exciting. Most people consider this the best time of their lives. Where do you think you're going? Oh, not for you, Billy. You have lab for the next four hours. Off you go. Don't be late. I see that you've adapted well to college life. Next, we have the MCAT. This isn't just any old test. If you score well on this one, Billy, you're one step closer to living out your dream as a primary care doctor. If you score poorly, then it's back to the dean's office to change majors. <laughs> just kidding, Billy. I'm sure you can do something with that biology degree. Better start studying. There you go, my boy. Now you've got it. Ace that test, and then we're off to medical school. Well done, Billy. You've made it to medical school. And just look at that shiny new white coat. But I think you might need a few more things to put in that jacket. It never hurts to be prepared. You'll need a stethoscope, some highlighters, a pin light, some note cards, a tuning fork, a reflex hammer, some review books, a snack, a smartphone, gloves, bandages, an otoscope, more highlighters, and orange peels. Don't worry, you'll learn about the orange peels later. There, now you look like a proper medical student. Welcome to the big leagues. The students around you are the best of the best. And you thought students in college were intense. You have quite a lot of studying to do over the next four years. You'll have anatomy, physiology, pathology, embryology, microbiology, internal medicine, obstetrics, surgery. Then you get to start taking your board exams at the end of your second year. The USMLE Step 1, Step 2, and Step 3. These exams may be the worst tests on the planet. You'll spend months preparing for your Step 1 exam because those scores directly impact what residency program you'll get into after medical school. Oh, don't look that way, Billy. Just because you'll spend the next four years of your life studying and working as an unpaid slave in the hospital, that's no reason to pout. Anyway, med school is just a warm-up for residency. And speaking of residency, we've already arrived. Huh, but where's Billy? Uh-oh, did he burn out already? What a pity. Oh, there he is. Hey, Billy. Oh, where did he go? In residency, the hours are long and the responsibility is now yours, Billy. You're seeing the patients in the ER. You're writing the admission orders. You're getting paged at 3 a.m. to inform you that Mrs. Smith is constipated and needs you to manually disimpact her. It can be a bit grueling, but Billy, this is where you learn to be a doctor. In the trenches. And it's only for three to five years. A mere trifle of time. And here we are. Billy, you have applied yourself in college, studied long into the night during medical school, crushed the board exams, and survived the gauntlet of residency. Your knowledge is vast. You can handle anything that comes through that clinic door. Look at yourself, Billy. You are a doctor. I'm so proud of you. And now maybe you think you deserve a little rest to reap the fruits of your labor. Well, just as soon as you fill out this insurance paperwork, 
and sign this back to work note for Mr. Jones, and watch this CME video to stay credentialed, and answer this phone call from the hospital, and you have to be at the high school football game at 7, and don't forget flowers for your lovely wife, and isn't being a doctor great, Billy? Only 30 more years till you retire. Have fun.